<sighs> hey guys, I'm back and I'm wearing dashiki <laughs> in honor of a trip to Jamaica. I know. I decided to just laugh about it because that's the only thing I can just do without, you know, getting so frustrated with the whole thing. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about the AMBCA 2017 nominees. The announcement took place last night and like every other movie industry you know enthusiast i was like okay you know following up with her uh, okay who is getting what i mean you know and all of that and then i started seeing some nominations and some exclusions and i was like how it just does not make sense so this video is just going to be my thoughts on the amvc 2017 nominees i'm going to pick five categories talk about them and then i'm going to tell you some shocking nominees i wasn't expecting and then shocking exclusions as well so i'm gonna keep it very short so without much ado let's go Guys, so I'm just gonna go right into it. The first category I'm going to be talking about is Best Actress in a Drama. Now, the nominees are Bimbo Akitola for 93 Days. You also have Ivie Okujaye for Slow Country, Rita Dominic for 76, Hannah Ojo for Love is a Prank, Adesua Itomi for The Arbitration, Zinkata Unjoka for Vaya, and last but not the least, Meg Otawa for Derailed. Now, this list is not shocking, you know, because I called most of these nominees before it even took place. I mean, I was expecting Bimbo Akitola, I was expecting Adesua, you know. Meg is actually a very, very pleasant surprise. I did not see Derailed, or I haven't seen Derailed, but, you know, for her to be nominated, I'm quite excited for her. Now, on to the second category that I'm going to be talking about is Best Actor in a Drama. You have RMD for Oloi Biri, Ramsey Noah for 76, Sambasa Nzeribe for Slow Country, Gregory Ojefua for The Encounter, Olui Jacobs for Oloi Biri, and Femi Jacobs as well. Now, this is the thing, right? My favorite is Gregory Ojepua. I mean, this guy is a fantastic actor and I've just been waiting for him to get the recognition it deserves, which he has been getting this year, but for him to get a nomination for The Encounter, which was a short movie, and it played the character of Ojuku in the movie. It's online, it's on YouTube. You guys should definitely, definitely go watch it. It's a short movie, you would absolutely love it. So in this category, I'm so excited for Gregory Ojefua. I think, you know, it's well-deserved. Of course, Ramsey Noah for 76 as well. Definitely well-deserved. Oh yes, let me not forget, Sambasa Nzeribe got nominated for Best Supporting Actor last year at the AMBCA, or should I say this year, AMBCA 2016. So I'm so excited for him that, you know, he's grown so fast in one year that he is being nominated for Best Actor now. Well-deserved. Kudos to Sambasa. All right, now let's move on to the third category. All right, now the category that had me like, <gasps> My chest, my chest. I was like, what are you saying? Now, best movie in West Africa, 93 days, 76. Oloi Biri, the CEO, and a trip to Jamaica. To say that, a trip to Jamaica's nomination was shocking and completely unexpected would be putting it mildly. I mean, shout out to AY, fantastic businessman. He knows the movie industry, the business side of the movie industry and all of that. But how many times do you see Kevin Hart's movie being nominated for an Oscar? It sells, people have fun, they enjoy it, they laugh, whatever. But it doesn't even get a nomination. Now, let me bring it back to... A trip to Jamaica. This movie was not funny. This movie was just as good as uh, a trip to where was it? Where, where was it? Thirty days in Atlanta. Do you understand? So it just wasn't. I mean, it sold out cinemas. Fine, Guinness Book of Record. Congratulations. But at the end of the day, how can you put confidently put seventy six, ninety three days, and a trip to Jamaica in the same category? It just doesn't make sense. All right, so the next category is best overall movie, okay? This is like a very, very crucial, if not the most important category. You have Mrs. Right Guy. Happiness is a four-letter word. Aisha, 93 days, 76. And Naomba Niseme. 
Now, I'll take this list. You know why? Because a trip to Jamaica is not on it. The CEO is in there. So, yeah, you know, I'll take it. 76, 93 days. Um, the other movies, I believe, are not Nigerian. As far as I know, they're not like Nollywood. So, I haven't seen them. But, you know, I'm sure they deserve their place as well. Now, the last category is Best Supporting Actress. And the only person I'm just going to talk about in that category is Songkele Dalama. I think she was phenomenal in 93 days and i called it yeah i called it yeah so i'm i'm actually if you guys vote of course and if the judges agree as well i think some killer deserves their word for this category now let's move on to the shocking nominations for abca 2017 number one a trip to jamaica for best writer for best movie west africa for best actor I don't get it like it, how how now how best writer how can you put a trip to jamaica and tunde babalola's uh what do you call it on the same category it just it doesn't follow this movie had a very very weak weak storyline oh okay now one minute we are engaged one minute we are in atlanta and one minute we are in jamaica and one minute someone is being kidnapped it, it just doesn't make sense when it comes right down to it you have to look at the movies you are being nominated with you can't compare ceo at 76 and 93 days and then you now say oh trip to jamaica deserves to be in that category as well the story was weak the production was weak the acting was weak the only person that made that movie bearable was funke akidele who got nominated for best actress in a comedy i believe and you know she deserves it she's funny we all love her fine i'll give that to her but aside from that nothing else about this movie deserves an amdca nomination as far as i'm concerned now a very very pleasant shocking nominee in the all of the nominations was ghana was go and you guys i went on and on about why you needed to watch this movie why it was funny why i loved it and i'm quite excited for yvonne okoro and her team because they got so many nominations and i wasn't even expecting it so kudos to them shocking exclusion how explain to me the, the, i think this panel on amvca they need to come and do a press statement or, or press release or something on how they came to their conclusions because i don't understand how the arbitration would not have gotten more nominations or even best director for nia kimolayo let me tell you guys this movie was fantastic i reviewed it i told you guys about it of course it, i spent 10 minutes talking about this movie of course i talked about the flaws but i told you overall this movie was fantastic i was expecting best director for nia kimolaya for the arbitration but no the only nomination it got i believe was adeswa it means best actress uh best actress in a drama yeah that's the only nomination the movie got how how can it's just and there you have a trip to Jamaica getting like what three four nominations if you want to give an award for breaking Guinness Book of Record then or special recognition or something you can do that but don't deliberately put a movie uh, in certain categories just because you feel like you did so well at the cinemas or do so because when it comes down to it you know and I know that a trip to Jamaica wasn't that good enough to be nominated alongside uh 76 nine, three days and the other movies and to now completely snub the arbitration it just doesn't make sense and then someone was asking you know what about 50 what about the wedding party well i don't know i don't know what do you guys think i have the list i'm going to put a link to the list i have the list of my blog i'm going to put the link down below if you haven't seen it go check out the complete list let me know what you guys think or am i the only one that's just feeling like EMVC has joined Fat Gang and they are going mainstream. <laughs> Alright guys, that's it. I'm gonna go. Thank you so much for watching. Remain in God. God bless you. I'll see you very, very soon. Bye.